Hello everyone, this is another One Shields, and the video was going to be a little bit different today. I kind of fucked up recording a really long part of the visual novel, and I really don't want to do that over again. So you're going to listen to me talk about a synopsis of what you've missed. Then I'm going to do the next video on what's actually going to be happening, voice acting, all that. So okay, listen up really good, please. So in the beginning, we get a background of what happened. Catherine. So we're speaking to Catherine, and she's saying how she walked in on Gillamy and her sister Emily fucking, basically. And she really, really, really doesn't like that. Only thing she wants to do is just spend time with her sister and not have her sister stolen by some type of guy who's just taking them in. And, you know, Catherine is really, really getting into, like, this kind of rebellious phase. I don't know if it's a rebellious phase, if it's just her personality, or it's just changing or whatever, but this is how she's acting right about now. I'm going to give you a perfect example. As you can see, she says they're fucking miserable. So, I'm pretty sure you can see what I mean. Catherine's sister, Emily, walks in. I have to leave, so I go to the library. I meet Gilmy in the library, and After a bit of unnecessary blushing and fidgeting around all over the place, I finally speak to Gilmy. I tell him that I want to learn how to read. And seeing his demeanor right now, he's not exactly acting the nicest way that he usually acts. He's being quite blunt and to the point. I mean, it's quite reasonable, as you can see. Like, bitch, do you even know your alphabet? And then after introducing me to my alphabet, he gets a little bit irritated at me when he touches me, and then I fidget around and act all cute and shit, and I didn't defend myself. My mother thinks he's like everyone else, all the other rapists that have ever raped me before, and she has a very bad opinion of him now, and I'm getting a bit scared. Gillamy doesn't want to take that shit, and he's basically like... If you don't want to give it up, you don't have to give it up. Nobody's forcing you to give it up. So in the middle of our conversation, we hear a high-pitched scream like, ah! coming from the living room from Kathy. We go right back in the living room from where we left. And we find Emily laying on the floor. Catherine is freaking out like hell right now. Apparently she pushed her, and her sister was pushing first, but apparently her sister fell on top of the piano, head banged that shit, and now the bitch is dead. Yes, it says in the bottom, her sister was on the floor. Where the hell else is she gonna be? She's not gonna be floating in the air. Gillamy tells Catherine to call for help, but instead Rosa decides to take the initiative. Gillamy comforts Catherine and all that shit, and then Catherine claims that now she's fallen in love with Gillamy at that right moment. And that's about as much as it catches you up to the video. I'm sorry if I let you down. I'm also sorry if this picture is blurry as hell because that's just the way the quality goes. Thank you for watching the synopsis of the video that would have been posted. I'll post the next video as soon as I can so the people that do watch this can be able to see the full extent and not just me bunching a bunch of shit up. I'm sorry if you think I'm lazy for this, but I really just did not want to go through the whole entire thing again. So... It was a long video, but that sums up exactly everything that happened. So thank you for watching. Please like if you enjoyed. Comment. You know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next real video.